I've eaten plasma with my face hole. I've been ravaged by cave monkeys, blown the hell out of nowhere, cremated by machine guns. I've even lowered myself into the steel because I could not self-terminate. And do you know what I've learned about my 39 attempts at Noida? I love it that I'm going to keep playing, but I want to ensure that we reach supreme victory sometime in the next 10 years. So I've made the decision to force roguelite features into the game by increasing my maximum health by 25 points every seven attempts that we make. In this way, we'll have both the progression and the learning combined for the roguelite experience I'm hoping for. Go grab some coffee and get comfortable. It's time to Noida. Welcome back to the Ghost Force Gaming channel where we play the roguelikes and the roguelites and uh, hopefully add some awesome games to your backlog. Thanks so much for uh, making it through the overly dramatic introduction video. This is run number 40 where we are uh, making some changes and roguelighting up this fantastic roguelike game uh, in hopes that it will enhance the GOAT's ability to reach supreme victory. If you draw your attention to this health bar, uh, we have added the 25 additional life to max health to hopefully start uh, influencing the capability to uh, traverse a little bit further in the game. Um, if this is your first time watching Coffee and Noida, welcome to the, the 40th episode here. Uh, I'm quite excited to see what happens here. I, uh, I think we're gonna get, I don't know, it, it, might, it might take a little bit for these, uh, these improvements to stats uh, to take effect, but I think over time, we're gonna we're gonna see some longer episodes. We're gonna be able to drink more of that uh, delicious coffee, and uh, we will find our way to supreme victory. So thanks for being here with me today, and uh, it's gonna be very interesting to see, you know, how much additional health it takes to uh, to get to that point. I'm. Uh, I'm excited about the change. I hope you are too. You know, I, I think it was time. Uh, and we'll see, we'll see what happens. So, attempt 40, let's let's get to it here. Let's see if we can, oh, okay. I was wondering what that was. Um, I wanna comment real quickly. I, I have not had this wand before and uh, I'm, Quite interested in it. We're we're doing okay here from a wand standpoint. Pretty cool. I like uh, being able to fire the goop. So anyway, I am here with uh, some Northern Nighthawk today, as you heard last time. Still working my way through the bag and uh, enjoying the hell out of it. So hopefully you got some good stuff in your cup. Oh, hey, look at that. We know what that does. Definitely want some of that. Let's uh, light up that oil, give it a second to burn, and uh, we'll make our way down there and grab that health. Okay, is this guy gonna die from the fire? And Willie's just hanging out over there. Super happy with this wand. Very, very effective. Getting a decent amount of gold as well, which is nice. Okay. I'm gonna head over here as long as this is open. Grab another wand, why not? Uh, what does this do? A field of freezing magic, Psych circle of stillness. Okay. 
Well, definitely not better than uh, the wand I have right now, but I think this one's going to be tough to beat. Oh, we could even add some additional stuff to it. All right. So let's see what uh, the options are here. We've got 123 gold energy sphere. I wouldn't mind popping this on there. This one could be pretty good. Triple scatter spell, that sounds okay too. So let's pop these onto here. All right. And I think we'll probably leave it at that bifurcated formation. Yeah, I'm not sure what that does and uh, don't really want to experiment with something that could be bad, but this looks really cool. All right, let's go with it. Let's see what we got here. Uh, you getting new telekinetic powers. Firing newly found and unmodified wands heals you. I had that last time and that was pretty good. I do like this one though. It makes it very hard for the enemies to uh, hit us with, with this one. So I'm gonna go with it. can't beat that with a stick. That's really effective. All right, Willie, take one to the face. All right. Hmm. You know, we've got acid potion. We don't have water. Otherwise, I could try to do something there. Let's grab this gold. Uh, think about this a little bit more. If I placed a bomb down there, that might disperse some of that crap. Well, it did. That kind of worked out nicely. All right, let's swoop in, grab this wand maybe. Yeah, we definitely want to do that. Let's, uh, let's take over that one. Oh, I still managed to get myself a little bit. All right, we're gonna head towards Willy. Oh, he's got some dynamite. Uh, let's keep exploring this way. Ooh, this guy's got a uh, decent looking wand on him. Um, we are gonna goink that. What is this? Forces a projectile on a horizontal path, but increases its damage. That could actually be interesting. Okay. You know what? I don't want to fight as a group, so we're gonna just head down here. Some of you have been very kind to uh, write in with supportive tips. Really appreciate it. And I try to put them to use where I can. Um, some of them, have, like I say, have been really, really helpful. We've got just a really tremendous community going here. All right. So, first run with additional health is uh, off to a tremendous start. Let's see if we can keep this up. Um, I think we're good as far as these wands go, but we are going to do some uh, changing around here. Um, okay. Primordial force of nature, lightning bolts. Or we could toss this magic arrow on there. I think we want to do that. Makes a projectile illuminated surroundings. I, you know, I don't really care about that piece. So, um, we're gonna change this out and increases the speed at which a projectile flies through the air. Simultaneously casts three spells. So we're gonna switch this out. We're gonna put the triple caster in there. And so we'll take this and uh, well, I guess for now we can pop this on there too. And both of these wands should be uh, 
pretty good. Yeah, I'm pretty happy with that. Let's see what this one does. Wow, that's uh, it's got quite a bang to it. All right, good deal. Let's keep keep moving here. Your spells are five times as powerful, but your maximum health becomes 50 and cannot be increased. I don't know that that's a great idea. Getting 50% extra maximum health. That sounds pretty good. Worms run away from you. Don't really care about worms right now. Let's go with the additional health. Uh, 254 sounds quite nice right now. Um, Alright, let's see what we're dealing with here. This is, uh, of course, as you know, our favorite area. It seems like these blasts are a little bit slower, but still very effective. Uh, let's cruise on down to here. A little bit too much happening over there in terms of uh, the size of the group. I wish I could find some water to clean this crap off, but I don't have any at the moment. All of it's frozen. Alright, um, they're ganging up on me. That ice guy can be a real asshole. Um, Looks like we took him out there. Oh, maybe not. I thought we did. I think he's down now. Uh, you know, not in extreme need of gold, so I think we're going to take the uh, safe path on out of there. Still got a decent amount of health. That guy takes a lot of shots, doesn't he? Worth it for the gold output, though. Um, Alright, so we definitely don't want to get electrocuted by that. Uh, if we can avoid it. Oh, that's a gun. Alright, we're going right down. Bypass that gun altogether if we can. Another gun over there. Don't really want to get too close to that. So, we're going to try to get out of that. Oh boy, we got the Willy Flying Crew on us. Okay, we're, uh, we're gonna need to get the heck out of here. Oh no! <laughs> Alright, uh, well, you know, we made it a little bit further. Um, still didn't get past the snowy depths, but every seven runs we're going to increase the max bar by 25, uh, just as though this was a roguelite experience where I was pulling in, you know, enough coins at that point to trade in for a stat boost. Um, and eventually, in theory, the GOAT and all of you will reach supreme victory. Uh, and like I say, it's going to be interesting tracking how much additional support I need. But eventually, we are going to progress further in this game and be able to uh, enjoy more of our coffee or whatever drink you like. Uh, feel free. Bring, bring tea to the party. I'm good with it. So a final sip to you for this 40th attempt. I'm excited as to where things are going to go from here, and uh, we will keep at it. We'll see you next time for Attempt 41 with Coffee, Noida, and the GOAT. You take care.